The library swing confuses a lot of people because it's generally too fast to see what's going on. It's basically comprised of three segments, swing downward, swing to turn around, and another to launch across the gap using the downward force you just created from the first swing. There's also a small jump incorporated into this that's too small to notice at full speed. It's right here after the third swing. The jump is not only to keep you from hitting the floor and resetting your momentum, but also to keep you from moving at an angle. If you've noticed, higher ranked players try to maintain as straight a path as possible rather than sweeping arcs up and down. This is because moving at an angle will take a farther distance and length of time to reach the next destination. You have to keep the jump small enough that you don't hit the ceiling, but most people just avoid this by sliding right to the jump. Also, keep your swings as close to the ceiling as you can so you don't have to wait for them to connect, and stay tight around the corners to minimize the gap's length. Dr. Goldfingers is clearly better at this than us and easily passes us. Still rather hard to pull off, even after mastering it, so don't be discouraged if you don't get it right away.